Good day, everyone, and thank you for uh, joining. Uh, my name is Lance, and I am with Q Associates. Uh, uh, we've been helping uh, small to medium businesses uh, uh, succeed with their CRM and ERP uh, uh, solutions for over 30 years now. Uh, today, we're going to cover how to manage your contacts in the Dynamics 365 sales uh, module. And so uh, without further ado, I will get going here. And we'll get that uh, going. All right. So when you log into uh, the Dynamics 365 sales, this obviously is your, your home screen with your dashboards and what you've been doing. Um, so managing your contacts, we're going to go down and as you can see, there's all sorts of different options down here for like quotes, competitors, opportunities, but I'm going to go to contacts. All right. And what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to, first of all, how to merge a contact. And I'm also going to show you how the system works. So this shows me my contacts. I also can see all active contacts within the company. So maybe accounts are only, or uh, contacts are only assigned to me. This is what I would uh, be looking at. Or if I wanted to see everything within the company, I would do it under active contacts. So that being said, I have a new account and I'm going to uh, enter it in here. And so, <clears throat> First thing it does is it asks you for information. Now I am purposely going to uh, act like a sales rep who uh, didn't have enough time or was in a hurry, wasn't paying attention, that type of thing. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is type in the person's first name. In this case, uh, I'm, I'm in a hurry. I'm just gonna put L and then I'm gonna put the person's last name. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say they're the owner. I am not going to associate them with an account. And then I'm gonna come over here and go there. And look, uh, the system recognized that this address is already in here, but being a sales rep, I'm gonna do my own thing. And so now I've got uh, their phone number in here. I've put all their information in. Now I wanna hit save. When I hit save, the system looks at it and says, hey, wait a minute. I see two accounts in here with uh, the exact same email address. And so are these duplicate accounts? And I'm looking at it going, oh wait, I put L Belcher, that's that one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I can just come right over here, put a check mark next to Louise, and I'm gonna tell it to merge. When I do that, it's gonna ask me, which is the master record first, okay? Um, you know, so I come over here, and I said, by choosing the fields, whoops, with data, there we go. Um, and I want to do Louise Belcher. This is the one that I created. Everything in here, it looks like it is either a duplicate or incorrect. So I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's stick with this one as the master account. So I just hit okay. What it does is it went in and it didn't add L Belcher. It just made Louise uh, the main contact and any information that needed to be updated was updated right in here. So it's quick and easy, um, you know, when you're entering in information, you know, maybe somebody else uh, put some information in there, you saw, it gives you a pop-up and it says, hey, there's a duplicate in here and then this is how you fix it, all right? Now, the other thing I'm gonna do <coughs> that I wanna show you is, let's say you're in here and you realize that somebody has already created a duplicate. In this case, I've got Robert Belcher, but I've got Bob Belcher up here as well, all right? So if I want to merge these and correct them, it's just as easy as going to the left. I put a check mark next to each item. Then I come up here to the top, I hit merge. And once again, it wants to know who the master account is, all right? 
So I'm going to set Bob Belcher as the primary record. Okay. And then I'm just going to look at these and go, okay, uh, bum, bum, bum. his name is Bob, not Robert. He's the owner operator, not the cook. Uh, it's definitely not Louise's email. And let's just say I want to use this email address or not email, this phone number instead of this phone number. All right. Uh, the address is correct over here. I scroll down and uh, I select all the fields. Um, everything else looks good. So now what we're going to do is I hit OK. It's going to take both accounts, take the fields that I told it were not duplicates or to use, and it's going to merge them together. Just takes it a few minutes here. So the big thing here is, well, oh, here we go. So you can see now, if I go up, it removed Robert. I go up here to Bob and voila, the information, it updated the phone number and all of the information that I need for this account, okay? Uh, another thing for managing your contacts within the system is a contact can be assigned to multiple accounts. So what I want to do is I'm going to go up here to accounts and it's going to pull up and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look for a specific account, which is going to be Bob's Burgers. Oops. So I find Bob's. And as you can see, it shows me my contacts right here, but I realize that Louise also works at Bob's Burgers, not just her place as well. So I'm gonna go over here and I say, okay, there's Bob. I want to add a contact. I come over here to contacts and I tell it, hey, I want to add an existing contact. And in this case, I'm gonna choose Louise. Then I hit add. Uh, oh, I made a mistake there. Um, I need to go find Louise and add her to this account. So give me a quick second. And actually, that's the cool thing is it's saying I can't add Louise to that account because she is actually part of a parent account. OK, so actually, if I go here and find burgers and beers, um, I can go over here and it's it wants to know. Or I'm sorry, I go to Burgers and Beers, I can see that Louise is in here and that she is uh, uh, the primary contact in here, okay? Um, but let's see if it'll let me add Bob. I'm gonna say, hey, let's add Bob. Oops, I wanted that one. There we go, hit add. All right, so you can see it's not letting me duplicate or override certain information. Um, so you can add your contacts uh, to multiple accounts or you could have multiple, or I'm sorry, you could have one person assigned to multiple accounts or you can have one account assigned to multiple people. So um, just a you know quick way, that's how you manage your contacts within uh, the system and uh, really easy to do it. Uh, like I said, you can go through, you can even uh, uh, do contacts that you want to follow. Uh, you can go through and say all active contacts or every contact. Um, when you follow an account or follow a contact, if that contact is updated or there's activity on that contact, you would actually get a pop-up under your tasks saying that there had been an update or this account had been changed. So hopefully that's a little helpful. Uh, wanted to keep this short and sweet. And, uh, you know, we thank you for, uh, excuse me, we thank you for uh, calling or <laughs> attending today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at 212-269-1313. Or you can always send an email to info at qassociates.com. Uh, once again, thank you for attending today and you have a great day.